Hello, welcome to a quick flow for hikers. Now, it's not only going to be good for hikers, but if you run long distances or if you do long distance walking for exercise, this will help you recover quickly after you've engaged in those activities. So let's get started. <music> When we engage in long distance activities like long distance hiking or long runs when you're training for a half marathon or a full marathon, you tend to like overdo it <laughs> on your muscles. And it's and contrary to what people might think, it's not just your leg muscles. You always put a lot of stress also on your neck and your shoulders. So hopefully this little yoga sequence will help you with that. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna, in a seated position, cross-legged, we're gonna take a deep breath as we raise our arms halfway. So you want the, your arms to be level with your shoulder. And then once we breathe in, we're gonna breathe out by twisting. And then breathe in and twist. So when you twist, you want, when you're twisting to the left, you want your left hand to go behind and your right hand to come to your left knee. And then when we twist to the right, you'll do it the opposite way. So your right arm will go behind and your left arm will go to your right knee. So we're gonna do that four or five times. Now, you should also follow your twist with your head. So you wanna have a really nice long neck. You wanna keep your spine nice and straight. So here we go, breathe in and twist and breathe out. In and breathe out. In, twist, and breathe out. One last time to the right, breathe in, and twist to the right. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our hands on our shoulders. So if you carry a heavy day pack when you're hiking, or if you're hiking multiple days and you have an even heavier pack, your shoulders take on a lot of weight. Just two liters of water in a backpack can be very strenuous or very hard to hold on to, and it requires a lot of work in your shoulders and your neck. So we're going to spin our arms through the shoulders. So we're going to have our hands on our shoulders. As we breathe in, our elbows touch, then they go up and around. So we're gonna breathe in and breathe out as you drop your shoulders. You should feel a really good stretch in the back, in the top part of your back, as well as your shoulders. So I, I came back from an eight mile hike this weekend and I noticed that all the weight that I had in my pack put more stress on my shoulders than what I would have thought. So it was nice when I took breaks and actually took the pack off of my back. So this feels really good <laughs> right now. All right, so there's one more thing that we're gonna do to help with our shoulders and our neck. And what we're gonna do is we are going to breathe in and look up. So breathe in and breathe out as you come back down. So we're only going to do that twice. So one more time, breathe in and breathe out. So next, we're going to go into staff position. 
And this is where we're going to start working on our leg muscles and our glutes and our feet. So what we're going to do, we're going to stand or sit here rather for a couple of minutes with a nice straight back. So you don't want to hunch over. So if you feel like you're hunching over, maybe bring your legs in a little bit like this. But otherwise, keep your legs out straight, your hands by your hips, and try to get as much length in your spine as you can. And we're going to take a couple of deep breaths here. In and out. In and out. Now, I'm going to get a little bit farther up on my mat, and we're going to point our toes, put our hands out in front of us, interlace your fingers, but keep a steeple grip, and as slow as you can, we're going to lower to our backs on the mat. Now, you really want to try to curve that tailbone in so that you can get all of the spine all the way down to the pelvis in contact with the mat. And you'll notice that your abdomen should have kicked in as well. So now that we're here on the mat, trying to get centered, we're gonna raise our knees up to our chest and give ourselves a big hug. And we're gonna start pointing and flexing and turning your feet at the ankles. So you can kind of do it like a wave. So do a point and circle around to the right. Then do a point and circle around to the left. Point to the right. And point and to the left. So this should give the sore feet some really good relief. Now we're gonna raise both feet up to the sky. Squeeze your shoulder blades under your back. And we're gonna lower. And hover and raise back up. Lower hover and raise back up. Now what we're gonna do is hug the right knee and lower the left leg. Raise it back up and switch. Right leg, lower. And you can have your foot pointed or flexed, it doesn't really matter, whatever feels best. Now that we've done this, we're gonna do a cobbler's pose. So you wanna have both of the soles of your feet together and we're gonna push into the hip creases with the palm of your hand. So you use the heel of your hand and this will help stretch out the top part of the quads So it should feel really good if you've got muscle fatigue. And we're gonna bring our legs back together, but we're gonna put our feet, the width of the mat, and let our knees fall together. But then we're gonna windshield wiper our legs to the right. And once your legs are here, you can take your right foot and place it over your left in between your thigh and your knee. You don't wanna be right on top of the knee. You might put too much pressure on that joint, but having it right here, you'll feel that stretch in the left hip. And it's also giving you a really good stretch in your right leg. 
And we're going to bring it back. And we're going to go to the other side. So place that left foot in between your right thigh and knee. And let it sit there for a little bit. And while we're doing this too, we're getting a little bit of working out of our glutes. So now we're not gonna pause. We're just gonna windshield wiper back and forth. So to the right and to the left and to the right and to the left. And then we'll do one last full body stretch. So arms up over your head. Feet stretching out. We want to work our wrists and spread our fingers and spread our toes and just stretch from head to toe. Mm -hmm. All right, so in just a few minutes, hopefully your aching body from your long run or your long hike will feel a lot better and it won't hurt when you try to get up out of your car. <laughs> that happened to me on Friday. So I thought that this might be a good and useful tool for you in the future. So I hope you get good use of it and I'll see you again later. Bye.